So let's get around that memory protection that we put in place in the last video. Um, we're going to go after a couple of, let's show where it is on the file system. So in C, Windows, uh, System32, you can just watch this, uh, we have the config folder. And there are a couple of files. There's our SAM database. Uh, there's system and then uh, security. And these three things together are going to allow us to use Mimikatz to sort of um, extract the password. We're going to pull these um, via the reg.exe uh, command because these values are referenced through the, um, the registry as well, I believe. Um, and so we're going to grab a copy of these and then we're going to use Mimikatz to do pretty much the same thing. And then once we have a hash, uh, we're going to go to a Linux machine and we're going to try to crack that hash. So uh, let's create a user on the system. So I'm going to go ahead and go user, add, edit, remove users, and just add a user. You can see I've added a student user, but I'm going to remove it just to, just to go through the process. Yes, get rid of that. So I'm going to, uh, oh, we also need to do this before we add the user. Let's go to secpol.msc here, local security policy. That's secpol.msc. That's an important MSC to know. And um, we're going to go under account policies and then password policy. Password must meet complexity requirements. You want to go ahead and disable that because we don't want a complex password. We're going to create a very simple password that we can crack. Okay. So local security policy, password complexity disabled. Now let's add a user and uh, I'll go ahead and I'll right click here and we'll say new user. Call this user student. And we're going to give it a password of ABC, just three letters. Um, because we want this to be ABC. Do not change on next. Now remember this uh, machine is exposed to the internet. So by creating this account, we're going to want to turn it off here uh, as, you know, when we can. You may not want to leave this running all night with a user student password ABC. It's unlikely it'll get compromised immediately, but it might. Okay, so we have our ABC password. We have our student user. We are good to go. You can see here we now have student. Awesome. All right, so let's open up, uh, let's open up PowerShell. So... And I'll just open up a uh, straight Windows PowerShell. Because we are administrator already, we would normally do that as run as administrator. Inside of downloads, I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this um, SAM, S-A-M. All right, because that's where we're going to put our SAM information. And the folder I've been using to run Mimikatz from here is this Mimikatz trunk one. I'm going to make that a little easier and I'm going to rename that. And I'm just going to call it M I M I because we're going to want to execute Mimikatz from the SAM folder. And it'll be easier to type if it's just called M I M I, um, you know, and I've got everything in here starts with M-I-M-I. -I, so I'm going to rename this to something that it doesn't look like anything else. I'm just going to call this crack for now. Because we're going to try to crack into these uh, SAM files. And that way it starts with a C and it'll be easy for me to do from the command line. You'll see. All right. So uh, let's go to... Um, C... Windows, System32, I'm just going to make my font a little bit bigger here, there we go, and we're going to do a period slash reg.exe, and we're going to save from hkey. HKLM HK local machine. We're going to grab a file called system, a lot like what we saw there in that folder. We're going to copy that to C users. 
uh, we are the administrator user. We're going to go to downloads and we're going to copy that to that folder we just created called uh, SAM. And we're going to call this the same thing on the other end. So we're going to save HK, uh, HKLM, excuse me, system to users administrator download SAM system. We're going to do the same thing for the actual SAM database. So HKLM SAM. And we're going to call this file now in the folder SAM. We're going to have a file called SAM. And then there's one more file we need to grab, and it is called security. These three things working together will allow Mimicats to get in there and produce an NTLM, uh, grab that NTLM hash from all the users that are available in the database. Security. There we go. And if we take a look now inside of our SAM folder here, you can see we have system, security, and SAM. And, you know, I'm interested myself here. I'm going to take a look at something. I'm going to go to C, Windows, System32 Config, where all that stuff lives. And let's take a look at the size here. So the SAM database here is 64 kilobytes. It tells me this one is 60 kilobytes. I wonder what's up with that. Security 32, 24. So our sizes 16384 versus 16192 are not exactly the same when we do it that way. And I wonder why. I don't know. I don't have a good answer to that. Okay, so now we're going to CD into uh, C users administrator downloads SAM. Okay, with the DIR, we can see everything that we have there. Uh, SAM security and system, those things that we just sort of pulled. Now we need to run Mimicats while we're in this directory. So I'm going to do a dot dot slash and there's that folder called crack and it's an x64 and it's uh, Mimicats.exe. So we're in SAM, we're going up one folder and we're going to run Mimicats now. And there's Mimicats and we're in the same folder where we pulled all of this information together. Well, we're going to do our privilege debug. Great. And this time we're going to do a token, all right, um, colon, colon, elevate. And this is going to allow us to impersonate the system user. Um, and you can see that uh, NT authority system is being impersonated with our SID of S1518. That system user is all powerful on the system. So we've gone one step above administrator, if you want to think about it that way. And our last move is to type LSA dump colon colon Sam. All right, so there it was. You may need to go back because I didn't take too long there. And it dumps out uh, all of this information. Let's see what we got. Let's see if it worked. We have user guest, default account, looking for that student user. Look at this. Here's our student user, and right there is our NTLM hash. Now, we're going to need that NTLM hash because we're going to go after it with Hashcat in the next video. So what you're going to see in the next video is you're going to see me working on a Linux Mint distribution that's kind of like in VirtualBox. I want you to spin up uh, an AWS uh, Ubuntu 18.04 um, for the next video.